Hey guys, welcome to this video in which we will talk about which programming language you should learn first. Now, first of all, I want to say that you should not learn a language in order to get a high paying job. Because according to me, that's a wrong aim to follow. According to me, the first language should be the one in which you should stay interested or you should remain interested in. Also, the first language should be the one which should not turn people off from programming. So the first aim is the interest. Now, every programming language is a good programming language if it gets your work done efficiently. So there is no particular good programming language. We are talking about the first programming language to learn to stay interested in the programming. So now let's talk about some options. So I started learning programming with the C programming language. So C was the first programming language which I learned. But this was about 10 to 15 years ago and C programming language was the best option at that time. The second reason of starting C as my first programming language was I was interested in programming microcontrollers or microprocessors and C was the best option for that at that time and I think still is the best option. If you are interested in IoT or embedded system or microprocessor or microcontroller programming, C and C++ are the best options right now according to me. Now some schools and colleges also teach Java and C++ as the first language which they teach to their students. Now according to me, these languages like C, C++ or Java are all good languages but they should not be the first language you should consider to learn if you want to start learning and stay interested in programming. The simple reason is these languages lay too many traps for the people who aren't already familiar with how the computer works. So for example, if you want to even execute a single line code in these languages, you need to follow some complex procedures. For example, in case of C and C++, you need to install the compiler. And in case of Java also, you need to install Java and JDK and JRE in order to run your first program in these languages. So these languages makes you deal with the compiling and linking. So let's say some error occurs in those languages during linking or the compiling stage. The errors are not so clear and you might wonder what is happening and a normal programmer start wondering what's happening to me. I just want to write a single line of code and this programming language makes me do all sorts of things. So sometimes people get irritated with those procedures and they turn their back to those programming languages. So according to me, the first programming language should be the one which is simple to write and you should be able to see the result instantly. The other reason is the syntax. The syntax of those languages are really complex. For example, if you want to write a single line of Java code, you need to create a class before even writing a single line of code. So a first programming language should be the one which should not irritate the programmer. So a developer or programmer should stay interested in programming for the first time he starts learning programming. So if these languages are not the answers, what programming language you should learn? So the answer according to me is Python programming language. And the first reason for this is because Python is an interpreted language rather than compiled language, which means that you should not deal with the compiling and linking of any sorts of code to your linker, which means you don't have to deal with some ceremonies like compiling or linking with your code. And that means you can just write a single line of code and execute it in a special terminal which is called REPL or REPL which stands for Read Eval Print Loop. 
so you can even evaluate a single line of code using this read eval print loop environment which is very easy to use so you get instant feedback of your code this means that you can learn faster and develop faster if you have started learning so this doesn't irritate you the next reason is python is a multi paradigm programming language so it lets you learn every concept in programming whether it's object oriented programming or functional programming or procedural programming so it enables you to learn everything in programming now let me show you some other reasons why should you learn python as your first programming language so as i told you that it is a interpreted language rather than a compiled language so you get the feedback of your code instantly this means you waste lesser time in compiling your code and you get more time in learning that language the second reason is python is very easy programming language to learn so python programming language is really simple and easy to learn if you are learning programming for the first time some people say if somebody writes a good python script it's like reading english language it's so simple so if you want to print hello world it's one line code in other programming languages like c c++ or java you need to write more than one line of code in order to even print a single hello world on the terminal in python you just have to write print hello world and it will print hello world on the terminal the next reason is python is used in diverse application so if you are thinking about learning artificial intelligence or machine learning which are the buzzword right now and also it is predicted that for the next 5 years at least these technologies will be at the forefront of the next technology revolution so if you are interested in learning those cutting edge technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence i think python will be the best option because there are specialized libraries available in python in order to do a complex calculation in python for machine learning or artificial intelligence and those libraries are numpy or scipy and also given the flexibility of python programming language and its machine learning functionality are delivered by the libraries such as scikit or karas and also google's new tensorflow library so according to me if you are remotely interested in machine learning or artificial intelligence you should choose python as your first programming language now if you are thinking about becoming a cloud computing expert or devops technology expert python is also good language for those technologies also if you want to become a big data expert there are some libraries right now like pyspark which has a high demand in big data industry if you want to develop a iot device iot stands for internet of things and if you are interested in embedded systems python scripting will allow you to do your job efficiently so if you are interested in iot python is good for that also now if you are interested in web development there are libraries such as django or flask which enables you to do the web development if you are interested in creating the graphical user interfaces there are libraries such as pyqt or pygui or pygtk which enables you to create graphical user interfaces using python language if you are interested in testing and automation also python is a good programming language because testing tools like selenium also use python in order to run those tests and the last reason is increasing demand in industry for python so as i said this should not be the criteria to learn python as your first programming language but if you are interested in the industry demand python also fulfills this and also i want to show this uh, graph to you also and this graph is of the overall question views each month on stake overflow 
and the demand of python is at the top so for the next few years python will be the most growing language according to me and according to some projections also so that's it you got your answer if you are interested in learning programming and if you are confused about which language you should learn first then python will be the best option for you to start learning programming i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video